Today we're gonna talk about when do you need to kill your losing asset, the losers, the bad boys. Everyone talks about, you know, about selling millions of dollars. Everyone talks about selling thousands of units. But very few people talk about killing the bad assets. So let's talk about these losing assets. This is a campaign that we turned off. As you can see, this is a turned off campaign that well, it had potential, but we couldn't sell it because of the you know price. It couldn't offer lower price point for this product because uh, you know the manufacturer was asking for the manufacturer. We contacted the manufacturer, and he couldn't provide us you know any lower price point. So we had to abandon this product ultimately. Okay, so let's move on to our subject. From the last year, I have seen people talking about keeping your ad set or ads live for two days or three days and then decide to keep it or, 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 or kill it, right? But uh, for me, if you identify the losers at earlier state, your ROI will be a bit healthier. So identifying the bad assets, identifying bad ads at earlier stage is 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 crucial for me it is crucial okay it could be ten dollars or twenty dollars but when twenty dollar assets but when you are launching 10 20 or 30 products per day it could be hundreds of dollars hundreds of or thousands of dollars you are losing to bad assets that could be killed in a few dollars spent right okay so let's move on let's talk about relevance score first how facebook how Facebook gives relevance score to AdSense. If you hover over a relevance score, okay, first of all, relevance score is in your ad level, not AdSense level, but in the ad level. So if you want to get relevance score data, you have to, you have to select relevance score from customized column in, in ad level and then you will find it from there okay so relevance score is in ad level and if you hover over then you can see that facebook gives your ad relevance score after 500 impressions so if facebook can determine if your ad is bad or good at 500 impression then why you have to wait longer right you know till 50,000 impression or, or, or 5,000 impression Okay, how Facebook determines this this uh, this uh, relevance score? If people are hiding your your ad, if people are reporting your ad, or you know those negative indicator from Facebook takes signals from those negative indicators and then put it on relevance score from one to ten. Okay, so the main point of uh, you know talking about is relevance score is that uh, why you have to wait uh, you know much longer. When Facebook itself is, you know, is, is itself is calculating relevance score at 500 impressions. Okay, so as you can see that we have five asset over here, and only two have relevance score over here. So let's see how many impression it has. Uh, how many impression there? Okay. It is five. One has five hundred over five hundred, and another one has over two thousand. And those which is below for five hundred doesn't have relevance score. So it got my point. So now let's move on to the subject. So to the subject, uh, when do we kill our assets? Okay, let's show you one. As you can see, the amount is spent over here is three point three five dollars at ten dollar budget, right? The budget is ten dollars. It is an US asset, and amount is spent is three point three five dollars. Reach is over impression and reach is over hundred. And let's see over here. I don't have any CTR. I don't have any link click or anything. And already Facebook has spent three dollars so it is better to kill that this bad boy because from earlier days it will it will, it will send signal that no one is interested in in my in my product and Facebook will slowly start showing these ads to you know to lower pool of people to lower quality 
audience okay as you can see there is no CGI that means no one opened it. no one click on it in, in, in this targeting area no one took any action based on my targeting and it has no CTR even though it has reached 100 people more than 100 people it has spent more than three dollars so it is better to kill that bad boy uh, right now than waiting for a day or two now let's talk about another one it has you know fair amount of uh, link clicks fair amount of CTR post shares but you know no add to cart okay all of our add to cart we, we were getting huge add to cart action from from Europe but not from US we have tested this product on another account and it showed a uh, same behavior US was getting fewer add to cart add to cart even fire though EU were doing fairly good compared to US market so we took decision that at this point uh, US ad won't do any good so we had to cut off every single US ads on the basis of performance of course okay and we killed this one because uh, we, we finally found that our price the problem and we couldn't uh, you know lower it anymore because as I said earlier that um, because our manufacturer couldn't offer us any you know better price point so we had to kill this product so I guess you, you have understood the basic of killing your bad asset at earlier stage you should really wait for for you know as people say uh, I don't really disagree on waiting uh, two days 48 hours period for, for for an ad but that is only for you know for 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 an ad that is getting you know huge social engagement and getting huge social you know he comment share and also CPC is a bit cheaper and CTR is good and I do usually wait three days for those kind of ads as you have seen in our case study our squishy was on losing side uh, we were losing some much more money in our squishy uh, for for first week but then we made you know 180k so I hope that you have understood uh, how to you know identify those bad boys so sometimes sometimes uh, sometimes there are the, there are cases that after four dollars spent or after five dollars spent or even after two dollars spent I have no link click okay sometimes we have these scenarios that uh, an asset has no link click after five dollars spent and it has you know it has you know two percent CTR and everything then we kill it because if uh, negative impression if negative actions are being shown to your ad from the early stage it has very little chance to get on profit site later so it is better to kill those those bad you know bad guys the bad boys and sometimes if the CTR is below 1% like you know 0.5% 0.2% if our targeting is that bad or if our product is that bad we kill that that we kill those okay and sometimes sometimes there are link clicks okay the product is really good people are interested in you know as you can see that link good number of link clicks but you know very few people are commenting on it bad people are sharing on it then uh, in in some rare cases you know some some niches don't really like to share S some people from some countries uh, don't really like to comment much more but uh, most of the time if there are you know laces social engagement there are fewer chance you know for those products to go viral because how you will be getting on everyone's news pay feed if no one is sharing them no one is commenting on it okay so next time keep these things in your mind okay I hope you you have understood everything I have said in this video and if you have any question you can drop that in your group have a good time bye bye